You wouldn't believe the assemblies at school. They have more parents than kids. Well, and then just all the awards. Oh. Uh, too many awards. Too many awards. Hello, little Johnny. Personality of the week. You know, yeah. Leader and when you of go the to week. It's like when it's they like, get a okay, job. You were a good kid for one week and we're having an assembly and giving yeah. you a trophy. Put a f***ing sock, sock in it. it. You know? Much less celebrating it. Right. I mean, just like, does your boss walk in every day? You showed up for work today. On time. Here's a trophy. Yeah, I've had it. Today is like personal assistant day. I know. <laughs> I didn't know. Do you think it makes them look like an assistant? <laughs> when I asked my assistants to go get their own kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you guys something. No, we need. Well, you know, there's a day for everything now. It's annoying. <laughs> like, I think boss's day is. Well, you know what I mean? Noted. It is. Finding Bogey's office is a trip. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Bogey. Yeah. The Calvary hey, has you arrived. Made it. How's it going? Great. How are you? It's this little box. Just some little <laughs> trinkets I've been working on. Bogert office. My okay. staff, I guess, calls you Bogert. Brian Bogert, AKA Bogey, is moving offices and he's rented this really cool space close to one of his bars and restaurants downtown. That's, That's very official. <laughs> I know. Coach Bogert. Coach yeah. Bogert. No, Sarah's official. Bogey is one of our dearest friends. And I did his entire house. I did his entire lake house. Bogey has expensive tastes. He pays like a slot machine. And a slot machine never doesn't pay. Oh, I think they don't pay all the time. Then why do you use the phrase? I don't know. I mean, when you think about it, it's probably not that great of a phrase. I think about it every time you say it. The larger point is Bogey pays really well. Well, this is the office or will be the office. How long will you be here? How long of a lease did you sign? We signed five years, so uh, we'll probably be here for a while. I'm ready to stop being a nomad from coffee shop to restaurant. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Restaurant. Finally, you can just be down here. Mm -hmm. Brian Bogert owns the social order, and under the social order umbrella, he has various partners in various restaurants. So let's give us a little tour. Yeah, definitely. This space for Brian is going to be for his ever-growing, very young, very hip, very cool staff. I think that it should be a really fun workspace for those whom you're doing business with. Okay, this is corner this is office, yep. as it should be. I would say my business is split 50-50 between residential and commercial work. I get hired to do big apartment units, oil companies, law firms. It's a very cool building. Cool. They did a great job. Your landlord is an architect? Yeah. Yeah. Hans and Tori Boots it's are cool. amazing architects. They did a great job. I love it. I love commercial work. My approach to it is in the same vein that I design homes. I want them to be warm, and I don't want them to feel too office-y. Oh. I'll put your wallet in this box. Yeah, please do. <laughs> That's where it's all. your oh. wallet always needs to be. Hey, <laughs> we're going to have to have a little talk about that on this one. This isn't just a personal deal, we have other people involved here, so I'm gonna have to maybe throw in the B word for you. Budget. Budget, yeah. Okay. I know that concept is foreign to you, but. Especially with you. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep it. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Kicking and screaming. <laughs> okay. But can we have a couple of splurge items? Maybe in that third little corner office there that's okay. my space. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this yeah, is okay, so... the social order. Yeah. Dining Collective. So entry here, I'm thinking some sort of marking for the social order, some piece of furniture underneath there. I thought it would be cool to do some wallpaper. Okay. Oh, okay. Not fits into the budget. Oh, okay. One thing that I love about commercial work is having like a dynamite lobby. Bam, this fabulous design hits you in the face. Well, in this space, you literally walk in and there's a wall. So I'm kind of like, Huh. Like, look at how cool this is. I like that a lot. That's like actual wood. It's a wood veneer. And this one would probably be lesser. I think this marking's gonna look the best on the blue, though, don't you? Okay, so this is this sort is the art. problem. Jennifer, I wanted a budget. You can't <laughs> this spend a wall lot of is money. Like you can't five spend feet. a lot of money. 20 times out of 10, you're gonna pick the most expensive. Well, you also strategically show it to me first. I am like, not the reckless. Like I would ever pick this. <laughs> Right here. Come on. I just want it noted. I am just not this reckless 
spender. I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world to go with a, a slate paint color. She hates that. So you've got a big investor. They're coming up the stairs. What do you want them to think? I ran out of money, so I painted my wall blue instead of doing that blue wood veneer wallpaper. Is that what you want? See, yeah. I want to see a beautiful painted wall. I think we have a winner. We'll see. We'll see when the budget comes in. OK. All right, all right, all right. OK, so there'll be cubicles all down this wall. And then this entire area back here is more of a lounge area. OK. So I want it to feel less office space, more okay. cozy. Little coffee, yep. informal meeting area. Yes. This is more community seating, community table. I need some bar stools. And then I'm thinking that needs to be something pretty. You need a chandelier. Yeah. Alex, do you have the picture of the kitchen that we did in Maui? Yes. It's an inspiration photo. Oh, yeah. The challenges of Bogey's office, at first sight, one would think it's small. We'll bang it out. It'll be really easy. Oh, are we on the bridge? Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's neat. But because everything is already structurally there, and I have to create that wow factor, and then we have to create this really cool lounge area in very tight, cramped quarters, the challenges are big. We're going to go fast, because we only have five yeah, weeks to do it. how much time. So I'm limited as, okay. as to what I can order for you. It has to be in stock. In five weeks, his employees will be there officing. So the clock is ticking. We'll bang this out. We'll probably be ready to meet with you into this week, beginning of okay. next. It's going to look like you spent a million bucks. Let's make sure that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jen. Yes? Did you log at the bank? Did I write it down? Did you log at the bank the BART deal? Yep. Okay.